Dylan Duel of Dallas Sports Fanatic here with Mavs big man Maxi Kleba at Mavs Media Day. Maxi, um, how do you feel today, your second year of doing stuff like this, versus you know, last year when you were a rookie and everything was brand new? You feel a little bit better this time around? Yeah, I feel a little bit better. You know, last year when I came here, I didn't know what I have to expect, and I was like very nervous about everything. But this year, you kind of know what's happening, so yeah. of course it's easier. How do you feel your first season in the, in, in the NBA went in general? You know, uh, it wasn't even certain you'd make the roster, but then you made it, and you definitely had some great stretches, even starting a ton of games. True. Um, I think I've, I'm very happy with my first year. Of, of course, there's uh, stuff you want to improve, like always, you know. But uh, overall, like you said, um, I made a roster, and I was very, very happy about that. Also, that I got to play and, and help the team, you know. And uh, what was the second part? <laughs> no, we'll move on to the next one. But just uh, in general, you, I think you're, you and Dwight Powell are guys who have uh, worked really hard to earn Coach Rick Carlos trust, you know. And you guys have made the most of opportunities when they come to you. How important is it to you to just? You never know when your name's going to be called. Stay focused and then make the most of those opportunities. Uh, you know, it, it's some, some days it's kind of tough, but, uh, you know, when I came here, I thought about this all the time because I, I also talked to Dirk before the season started, and he was like, it's a mental grind. You know, you got to stay in it. If you have good games or bad games, if you're playing or not, you just got to be prepared all the time, and I think that's all you can do as a player because the coach is going to make the decision who's going to play or not, and uh, all I can influence is my work attitude, you know, and I try to work out, uh, work out and work hard and take every practice series and every game series and, and that's how you just stay ready, you know. But, of course, um, when you wait on the bench and you don't know if you play or not, it's, it, it's tough, but uh, there's nothing you can do about it, so you just stay ready and focus. Also, um, when the game is running, you know, you watch the plays, you watch what's happening, because if you come in, you want to know what you have to do. Mm -hmm. And I saw yesterday you were out on the golf course. Is that right? <laughs> How does that go for you? And uh, is there any chance that might be your second sport? Well, I like playing golf. I just never happen to play. I, I should play more. Um, yesterday, I, we just took pictures, but I, just, I tried to tee off one ball, and it was terrible, so I just stopped. <laughs> All right. Golf is probably the most underrated hard sport in the world. You know, oh, just, uh, yeah. uh, I can only imagine, you know, like... Uh, you, you want to take a big shot, but then you mess it up and your whole round can be ruined. It's different from basketball, you know, you, if you miss a shot, you get to keep going, you get to keep trying. But uh, anyway, how, how fun is it for you to be a part of the team and be out in the community at events like that uh, as you now in your second season? So when I was a little kid, you know, you dream of playing in the NBA, obviously, because it's the best league. So for me, being here now is very special, like everything that comes with it, being on the court and representing the club, is, it's a very special moment, every event that we have. You know, we meet people and they're excited to meet us and we're excited to meet them. And it's just, it's just a, a good feeling, you know, when you can give back and like events like that are super fun, especially when it's out on a golf course. You know, most of us probably play a little golf or like golf, so um, this is like a very special thing for me. And last thing, I, I saw a video a couple weeks ago for some surprisingly good dunks for me, man. Where would you think you rank on this team as far as the, the talented dunkers? Uh, well, there's a difference in, you know, jumping high and doing fancy dunks. I think there are some guys here that jump high but maybe don't do fancy dunks. But we have some really good guys here like Dwight, Dennis, and... Uh, you know, DeAndre, so I don't know where I would rank. I guess that's, that's a thing for fans to choose, but I can, I can do some dunks, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah, a little bit more above the rim threat than maybe your fellow German teammate, right? Uh, at this stage, for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Maxi, thanks for taking uh, some Appreciate time, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Hope you have